Asbog the Gaming Orc here to give you a great tip for both PvP and PvE in Elder Scrolls Online or ESO. Anyone can do it, it costs a little bit of money and effort, and you can create high level food that can give you increased stats to Magicka, Stamina, and Health. It is a must, and when you get it, it's pretty cheap to maintain and you'll wonder why you never did it in the first place. When I was trying to level provisioning or cooking in ESO, I ran into a problem. I was buying mats for recipes from the guild store, and I needed other mats to complete the recipes, but they were nowhere to be found. Alas, with little research, I found these simple NPCs called grocers, and they sometimes hang around inns, and you can, got, you can buy the mats for gold instead of spending a lot of time searching containers. It takes about 15,000 gold to level provisioning, and you end up with extra mats that you can sell, so it's probably around 10,000 gold at this point. But you can create great passives from the tree, such as making more servings and making the servings last longer, and as a must for most characters. The tri-stat food can increase all your abilities for about 250 for over two hours and last even after death. That's right, after death. This is why so many hardcore PvPers use this food and they're harder to kill. So you're using grocers can help you out to level this if you ignore this or coming back from the buy to play version of ESO. There are a ton of other good foods that you can use even if you aren't VR level five. So there's really no excuse to not pick up the skill line. Grocers are not well known by most players, but here are the few locations. There's one in Evanhart Pack area, the Black Silth Earth and Davin's Watch Stone Falls. She's at the northern part of the Market District. All of Mary Dominion, you got Samarian in the Vulcan Guard, Arderon. He's near the docks by the Merchant Stall. In the Daggerfall Covenant, you got Jafrost, Cold Eye, and Beneketh. And she's at the dockside trading stalls. There's other places too that you can find them. There's one in the Daggerfall Covenant. Location is Waycrest Stormhaven. And the Cl Cloudy Dregs Inn. And the NPC's name is Maramil Lamentri. She's on the first floor. She's wandering around in the cooking fly fire at the bar. There's three high level end foods, or the tri stat foods, as they call them, that you can obtain. The recipes cost around three to 5,000 gold if you want to buy them. Or you might just find them, you know, slaying a monster or something. They are the Consummate Sweet Roll the consummate honey brittle, and the consummate honey pudding. Some of the mats are, are semi-rare like pepper, but if you have the passive ability to get the ingredients from a helper, this can help you get this. And remember, you're making four servings, or eight hours worth, from one of these ingredients. If your little servant finds one for you, it, it's gonna be pretty cheap, because most of the other mats are kinda cheap. And here I am, I'm a sexy little vampire assassin sniper. I open up my inventory, hitting I, then I hit Q to toggle the equipment consumables in my inventory. I go to the food for consumable honey brittle, I eat it, and yum yum, now I'm even more deadly. I hope this video helped. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next chapter, humans.